Welcome to Kids Express. Join us as we see kids express their love for Jesus while developing their character. On Kids Express! Today, we are going to talk about knowing who we can trust and identifying trustworthy people. I'm so excited that you're joining us. I'm Aunt Francine. And I am Sophia. Can you guess where in the world our guest comes from? Can you guess what state? If you guess Io, you're correct. Let's welcome Stephen. Hi, Stephen. Welcome, Steven. Steven. Iowa, that's pretty far that you've traveled. That is so... What is that? That looks scrumptious. Uh, is it scatcheroos? Yes. Scatcheroos. And oh. ooh, that looks like it has some peanuts in it and some chocolate. Yeah. It looks mighty tasty. <laughs> and, and it also has marshmallows. <gasps> Oh, Ooh. marshmallows, yeah. Who doesn't like marshmallows? Not me. <laughs> and sometimes we have to buy the right kind of marshmallows in order to eat them yes. sometimes to stay healthy. You're right. Mm -hmm. So tell us a little bit about Iowa. Well, Iowa, in Iowa, they like to ride bikes. And who doesn't like riding bikes? Well, I like riding I bikes. Riding Can you ride man. far? Yeah, not that far, but far. Uh -huh. and, uh, and people... There's also a delicious kind of apple that is in Peru, Iowa. Peru, Iowa, and it's, it's known for this apple, right? Yeah. Yeah, and that's kind of interesting. And, and, and it's also known for um, some of these fruit foods, and also it has the biggest corn producer in the whole world. I wow. didn't I mean, know that. Uh, in Me all of America, I mean. In the United uh, States. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I call it. And I think uh, that bike, they don't do necessarily a big bike race, but it yeah. has a lot of people coming for several days of bike riding. Eight They're, days. Eight days. That's pretty, that's pretty far yeah. of a lot of biking. I don't know. I, I think I'd be pretty sore riding my bike that far. Yeah, <laughs> me too. Would you like to try it, though? No. <laughs> I can't I even know. ride it for an hour. How do they do it I for know. eight days? I know. I think I'd be pretty sore. But I think Iowa also has the highest literacy rate, which means that a lot of people like to read yeah I, so do you like to read yeah i i have we have three shelves of books wow oh, you sound like my daughter you like reading a lot of books yeah. <laughs> can't get enough books yeah but that helps because that helps you be intelligent and mm -hmm. and learn a lot because you can learn a lot from books can't oh, you yeah. yeah yeah so and us, um i also like preaching as a child so i as That's how you're sharing Jesus, isn't it? Yes. So yeah. At the first time um, God um, told me, like, yeah, you want you to preach, is when this this time, when I was like four years old, I forgot what how eight how old I was. Um, I was playing with my f three brothers, and while we were playing, for some reason, I got stuck in the snow. It was winter. And so um, I was really crying for help. But in the real so part So you were of it, by yourself in the snow? Yes. They tried was pulling... Was it deep? Yes. It, oh, it no. was muddy, watery snow. Oh, so very slushy, right? Yeah. And, in, and North, it's in North Carolina. Mm -hmm. And so um, I was praying that, like, God, I, I really need help with this. But in the real part of it, my words were saying, Lord, I mean, Mom, help me. But in the mind, when I was saying, God, please help me. And if you want me to do this thing, I will to do preach. it. To preach. Yeah. Wow. And, so when, and, for, and, and my mom was hearing it from the window and sawing, seeing me here. So I got out. But... My brain was my. Ha I was so happy. I was overjoyed, but in my mind, I was more than overjoyed. I was super joyful because God said, "I want you to preach," and I really wanted to preach. So you felt like you had a mission. Now you knew what God wanted you to be. Yes. And wow. So, At age wow. four, you said. I believe so. Wow. wow. That's really young. But and so God let me through all these. Um, trials like the first trial was when I had to move to Virginia and I had already loved Texas I wanted to stay there 
But God's like, I know, I told you, I want you to preach. So I decided, okay, Lord, I'm going to go if you want me to go. So the next part we um, went, when we went to Virginia, I didn't know anything about Virginia, but Virginia was so fun. Then God wanted me to go to Iowa. <laughs> oh my, you've traveled yeah. quite a bit. Cause... And also, there's an, a prayer that I was asking um, God for. I wanted a dad, because when I was born, I didn't have a dad. Oh, so I was praying for important. a dad. And well, and God just led me through all these trials and then I, br I got brought to Iowa. And God's like, now, today is the day I want you to preach. So I've been preaching so many days. So who listens to you preach? Um, many people. <laughs> <laughs> many people, give some examples. Yeah, and I even, not just in the backyard, I do it on so many other devices, like I have, this tablet where I record things, uh -huh. and then I have this little phony looking thing where I record things about Jesus and I listen to it. So you play it for other people to watch? Yes. I didn't know that. So your mom was telling me something about a neighbor. You were practicing maybe in the backyard yeah. and you were actually just giving a little sermon. What was it about, do you remember? Um, one was about Gideon and how God chooses everyone. And then there's a Joshua and other things. And I actually also was acting it out. So <laughs> I was not, I'm, de I'm not just very preaching, dynamic. I'm acting. Oh, so, wow. wow, that's a yeah. big so job. Th so this neighbor was watching you and, yeah. and you feel like, how did you know he was watching you? Because there were in the windows, there were so many places. And it, I think I'm, I, I'm happy that God gave me this big old backyard because it doesn't even have fences. So I can just flourish. And they en enjoy hearing you. So you don't yeah. know what kind of seed you're planting even to a neighbor. Have you ever thought of that? Yeah. That even when you're playing in the backyard and in your case, practicing your little sermons, <laughs> you might be planting a seed for your neighbors to hear. Yes. And because, are they Christians? Do you know? Not so many. Not so much. Okay. Because there's two Christians, actually three, okay. but, but one, yeah. She, yeah, I'm praying for him because he got into smoking and stuff. And then Aww. another one, he quit going to church. And then another one talks about, I don't know if they're from Sunday church or something. Okay. But they talk but about even, that. Even if they're from a Sunday church, they still love Jesus, right? Yes. So, but that's interesting that you're willing to plant that seed of encouragement and show who Jesus is. You know, I appreciate something that you shared with me a little bit and, mm -hmm. and it's trusting other people. Sometimes, do you ever have a, a hard time when we are working on our character development? Can we talk about that a little bit, about yeah. trusting people? Yeah, because it's hard because sometimes when you trust them, they just, they just tell other people, like if you tell them a secret, they tell the secret and you thought you don't have a secret them. anymore. Yeah. yeah. And then you can't trust friends. them anymore. Mm -hmm. They trust broke them. your trust. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Some, some friends look like they're like, they're friendly, they're kind, they're mm -hmm. loving. You can't just tell by somebody by looking yeah. at them whether they're trustworthy or not. I mean, their heart. But uh, and sometimes you can see their actions, yeah. right? So how do you know when people that you can trust, how do you know when there's an adult that you can trust, for example? Let's start with that. Ooh, that's hard. Um, parents sometimes, also, parents are the same way. Mm -hmm. Some you Some adults that you then, then sometimes they're strangers. Mm -hmm. And when you talk to them and you think they're gonna keep this thing that like, I'm gonna talk to you tomorrow. And then- They don't three, never and, talk to you. And then they never talk to you again. Yeah. And I'm like, and then sometimes you can be like, what, are you kidding me? You made a good point yeah. though, because even parents sometimes, make sometimes mistakes. parents make mistakes and even your parents can even break some trusts. Yeah. of our kids. I mean, especially if there is abuse in the home. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine some kids that probably would have trust issues? Yeah. So what would that look like if somebody had a trust issue, for example? Well, they would, would be negative maybe? Yeah, they, like if you told them a secret, then like one minute later they tell it to another friend. Okay. And then yep. another friend tells it to another yeah, friend. Yeah, and then it keeps going and going and going. 
So, so everyone knows your secrets, right? And you know, some people that are that have trust issues might be negative all the time, but also hold grudges. Yes. Have you seen yeah. some people like that, always wanting to pick a fight with somebody? Yeah. And we don't want to have those characteristics. No. And that's, or oh, sometimes, have you had friends that are suspicious of other people? Yeah. Like yeah. they're always thinking about the worst. Yeah. But you know what? When we have trust issues, we need to give people the benefit of the doubt. Yes. For example, even if somebody's hurt you and told some mean things about you and you thought you could trust them, mm -hmm. should you hold a grudge on them? No. Um, no, no. Also, should still be nice to yeah. yeah it's let's, hard. Let's take an example for David, um, mm -hmm. like one of my favorite Bible characters. characters. Mm -hmm. He's like an awesome king. When when he starts out, he's when he's getting anointed, and then Samuel comes in, and then and then he says, "Oh, this guy look this, like he picks his older, the oldest brother." Man, he he said that he looks great, but God says, "No, I." You people only look at the outward appearance, but the mm -hmm. Lord looks unto the heart and, and sees, he and He can tell to the prophets. Yes, if yeah. he if he really does love God, mm -hmm. or if he doesn't. Right. Yeah. So if you realizing that you're having these trust, I want to say trust issues, but they're not really trust issues. But when you realize that you're doubting mm -hmm. or you're not trusting things, what are some things that you can tell yourself in your mind? What can we say? Um, well, you can just be like, you, like even if you can't trust them, you can still be nice to them. Correct. Be the friend, just not tell them like any secrets or anything. Yeah, like you're, you're going to be more careful. Yeah. Right. Before you and, and sometimes it's important to catch what you're thinking. Like if you're like, oh, I'm not even going to pay attention to this person, it's important to give them a chance, yeah. but like catch your, yourself thinking. And also, um, Find an adult to talk to. Yeah. yeah. I think you know, that's You know, maybe wrong. it's your parent, mom, maybe it's your dad. It might not be the same person yeah. all the time. Yeah, but it's good to, to talk to your parents. You're right. That. You're right. But or it's uh, the, the friend's person, parents if they're there. If you're right. If you know them or something. Mm -hmm. So, you know, while well, parents can give good eye contact yeah. and give you good suggestions, but you know what? I think it's time for our questions Ooh, for today. Yes. Are actually you ready? questions right okay. here. This question goes to Aunt Francine. For Maya, who lives in California, she asks, how soon is Jesus' second coming? Mm. Oh, it's, do you know this one? Um, how soon is Jesus coming? Jesus comes, said he's coming soon. And we've waited for 2,000 years. You're right. But he has not come. In the pro, one of, actually, we can look at Matthew. You're right. 26. And it said, maybe not 26, but... I have Matthew part, 24. 24, and it says... 36. That not, but but in the, of that day... Or the hour no one knows, not even the angels of heaven. So if they don't even know... Then How are we supposed to know? Well, God <laughs> says that we always have to be ready. For That's what, when it. He comes. It's very important that we are always ready, no yes. matter what our circumstances are. Yeah. And that means Jesus has to live in us. And fortunately, we can always trust yes. Jesus, right? Yes. Because His word is always what? Trust, trust word worthy. worthy. And so we need to always put our trust in whom? God. I'm so glad that we can put our trust in God and His Word. Others will disappoint us, and yet God and His Word is trustworthy. True. We hope you will join us for the next Kids, Kids Express. Express. Now let's dig oh in. I can't wait to have some of this. Yeah.